Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lakeshore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer. Today we continue our look at the symbol of oil as a way to help us connect with God during this Lenten season. And so we turn to the Gospel of Matthew, again this time to the 26th chapter. Now while at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to Jesus with an alabaster jar of very costly oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. Now the parable goes on, or the story goes on to tell us about how there was then a great discussion about how wasteful this could be because that woman could have sold that pricely oil and the money given to the poor. I don't think anyone would argue that helping the poor is a bad thing. But Jesus says something a little bit unpredicted here. Jesus says, let it be. For this woman has anointed me while well, I was still here. But I am leaving, and soon you will not have me here, but you will always have the poor. Now, there is so much that we could unpack theologically in that, but today, for our simple devotion, I want us to focus on what does it mean to lavishly give to the Lord? Our churches are filled with opportunities to talk about finances, our regular offerings, maybe endowed funds. Um, whether we should have a contingency fund, what we do with extra money, quote unquote, at the end of the year. There's always something that we could do, but Jesus simply says, give lavishly. And if that means praising Jesus and showing our thanksgiving to Jesus by giving lavishly to Jesus, then let's do that. How are you prepared to show God how much you love? For some, that will be dedicating their life to a life of service. For others, it might be writing that check so that the church doesn't have to stress about what, where it's going to get the money to pay a bill. There's all different ways to lavish the Lord, but it begins with us being willing to give generously of our whole life. Now that's something for us to pray about today. Jesus, you remember, you remember us. You honor what we offer in love, be it an expensive oil or a heartfelt prayer. When we come to you unashamed and pour ourselves out in love or fear or doubt or praise, you welcome us in. You know us. You remember us. When we feel as if we have nothing to give, you embrace us and tell us we are enough. You remember us even when we forget you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Friends, remember that you are loved. You are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. Have an awesome day.